All right, here we go. There we go. Welcome everybody to the what is this? The third episode now, or the fourth one? I don't even know. Uh, this doesn't even matter. Doesn't really matter, but just I think it's the third. Yeah. Could be wrong. The third. Yeah, I think it's the third. No, it's the, sure third. it's the third. Yeah. yeah. Welcome, welcome. Uh, as always, we have. Uh, let's see the camera. Fosh. Maxwell. Hello. Uh, Mr. Uh, Pointy-haired Curtain Jedi. This is my beard, guys. Look, I have a beard. Wow. See, I fit wow. in. You look like an Am Amish, uh, Amish guy. If you do that, actually. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yep. All right. So um, basically, we have something to talk about again, because uh, more fun is an open beta. Rebel Tanks released uh, 9.0 not too long ago, and they're busy with 9.1 now. So, which is uh, the tester, already. Which is now in the tester area. And, uh, well, let's just get our thoughts for War Thunder out of the way. What do we all think about War Thunder at the moment, in the current state? It sucks! No, it no. sucks ass! <laughs> wow. No, it's not bad. I like what they're doing, but I think they needed to, like, decide what they wanted to do with the game. Like, a simulator mode for now is like, look at the mini-map. Mini-map will spot everything for you. Yeah, or the and... arty thing. Yeah, yeah, Artie, well, thing. Need Artie and Minimap thing is just like, what the fuck? Realism, my ass. It, it definitely has uh, a lot of uh, balance issues at the moment, but I think there's they've definitely got something there that could be fun to play for a lot of people. It's going to have a lot of cross appeal to World of Tanks players, but I can't see there being any kind of mass exodus from one to the other. Uh, That's just... pretty. It does, looked, it, and it runs it, a lot better for a lot of people, so I some think, people might just yeah. go over for that reason alone. Cause it I does. actually think that the graphics are pretty overrated and more funded. I think the tanks look cool, but everything else is really fucking yeah. basic. Yeah, well, the thing is that, like, again, when you go to simulator mode, you will, will want to have as shitty graphics as possible. Like, you disable grass right away, and then the maps start to look like shit. And yeah. so on. Like did you not same say the, the trees. Did you not say the polygon counts on those banana trees, man? They were amazing. <laughs> yeah. <it'll be. laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, like like Flash said, if you're on Kursk, which is the only uh, is a map you can only get in simulation. I don't know if that's also on live. Like on the live server? Is that yeah, still yeah, the yeah. case? Yeah, yeah, everything is from the beta I don't even think that anything changed in that game. There are like some minor matchmaking weight adjustments for some tanks and that's yeah. it. That's basically where I was like, well fucking hell. Like on course, you have the the high like uh, grass or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. And if and you could turn it off, and it makes for so much like it's so OP for people that don't use it because people actually used to hide in it, but you I, could turn I, the fucking bushes I, off. So. I think uh, Jingles he did a video where he, he talks about that and he kind of made some good points that it that for for sim battles it's silly that you can turn it off entirely and that there's no kind of like low. And you can't even blame people like, oh, I'm exploiting. That's just Well, the stupid. thing is, it, it, it's at a stage where it, it, you're actually putting yourself at a disadvantage if you don't. Cause yeah. Yeah, know yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so, same with the arty view. I, I use arty view not to call arty. I use arty yeah, view yeah, yeah. to fucking look around because it's a better way to do things. And if I can do it, everybody can do it. And yeah, basically. That's what the high level War Thunder gameplay will be like. You just spam your RD key and just look around and look at your map and hope that the, your map will spot the enemies before they spot you. Yep. That's, yep. That's my main gripe with it now. Because if you say, like, oh, the graphics are awesome, but then you have to turn down a bunch of shit just to be competitive. Just to be competitive, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit sour. One, the other thing I don't really like is there's no, re there's no urban maps. Yeah, that's oh, a bit I, I like I like the urban maps in World yeah, of Tanks. Yeah, same. Yeah, the, well, the, they, they. I think it'll come with Thunder. time, though, because it's only a couple of maps at the moment, so it's yeah. hard to judge on that basis at the moment. I think with War Thunder again, though, is that as you are probably noticed because you played the game, is that when you roll out of the corner, you're really slow, and your gun takes a lot of time to aim. And city maps will be like, there's one street, one guy camps that street, the other guy camps that street, and whoever drives out somewhere. Yeah, but still, you gotta to test it out place. anyways. You might as well fucking yeah, implement it. Sure. I, I don't think it's going to work out very well for them, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and what, what do you guys really like about War Thunder? Maybe even compared to World Things, but then maybe in general. What do you guys really like about it? <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> wow. I like that it feels like... It, it feels like a very different sort of game, and it can be... When you get that, like... You, you're driving towards someone, you just shoot them, and it's that one-shot kill moment, and the turret flies off, and that that can be really satisfying. Uh, but when it happens to you, it's a bit less so. But it's oh, that um... actually reminds me of another thing that I don't like. 
like uh, I think we all had this where you like shoot the tank at the same spot and there's like three bounces and one is like ammo wreck everything's on fire all no, the, the RNG is very strong in that game it, it really is I, I wonder if they'll do something with that too yeah because yeah. it's very hard to tell at the moment if, if your shots are actually gonna um if they're gonna do the damage that you want them to yeah, do because it's, it's... It's difficult to formulate a plan ahead of time. Like, say something with World of Tanks, you say, oh, that guy's got this many hit points. If I pop out, hit him once, and then somebody else can finish him off, or it's going to take probably two hits to finish him off. War Thunder, you can't really do any of that advanced planning. It's like, well, could ammo rack him, could do fuck all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's but like, you can, you can aim for the spot, but it just seems that even if you aim at the spot, that's not a guarantee. Whereas if you aim at a weak spot on in World of Tanks and you're in a certain range, you know you're going to hit that lower glace. You know you're going to do your average damage, really. Well, I, it's just it's it's not that bad. Like I played quite a lot after it went open beta. I actually grinded till the Panther, like rank four Panther or whatever. And uh, like what I noticed is, like even if you don't kill the tank, you if you shoot him in the driver's hatch, for instance, the T thirty four, you're gonna kill his driver, maybe some other crew, like a gunner. If you kill his gunner, if you shoot him in the turret and kill the gunner and commander, you know the tank is almost dead anyways. You need to shoot him in the driver's hatch and he dies. And yeah, you kind of kind of start to see the pattern, but it still can be really random. You, like um, I never actually realized. Do you get the uh, like the the list of things you wrecked inside yeah, of the yeah, tank? Yeah. But do you, you do, get it in simulation do. and shit? Yeah, you get it everywhere. That's kind of dumb. Eh, meh. Well, from what I think, if, well, if you gotta have it. three modes to dif to distinguish yourself between arcade and simulation. Like, simulation could be a lot more hardcore then. But then again, uh, remember those Kursk battles where you shoot tank and then you're like, IS HE DEAD?! And if you can't see what you wrecked yeah. and who killed who, that's like, yeah, you're but just that, gonna shoot that, dead. That's yeah. simulation, right? Yeah, that's how it was in real life. Yeah, what the fuck? Well, know, they could though. go that way. And, I mean, they should have. I think they should have done the real, the historical one, the second game mode. They should have done that way more realistic. That should be what simulation is now. Yeah, it's and they should do a new simulation where it's like super hardcore with no AI and no shit. Like, yeah, yeah. No I mean, the, the the plane simulation is you're literally locked into the yeah, cockpit, cockpit view as well. It really is simulation. And you don't have any nameplates, anything, no nothing. maps, nothing. Nope. No. That, that I don't is... know why they couldn't do that with the tanks. And the then shoot. the whole camo thing kicks in even more because if you're playing on such a simulation level kind of thing, you can actually hide from people because the minimap is fucked. So you can every, you can actually to look for everything, you know. Yeah. Well, I think it, the it, game has good pro promise. The, I mean, the the immersion in that game is much way better than all well, the tanks. You actually feel like you're driving a tank. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Physics are a bit off. When it comes to ramming and vertical physics, like falling and shit, that is quite a bit off. But uh, their driving physics are really cool. I like the way the tanks drive. I like the way how you can turn with the drift thing, like you break yeah, yeah, yeah. Back and your tank spins. That is really cool. I would love to have that in all things, the whole break and yeah. spin into yeah, something. I think really cool. I read somewhere, someone put it quite nicely that it doesn't feel necessarily it's not necessarily uh more realistic i mean it, it is a bit more so than world of tanks but it feels more authentic and i think that that's probably the the thing that it has going for it over world of tanks at the moment so i mean the it, entire entire driving physics your tank actually has gears and shit mm, that's yeah, like in world of tanks yeah, i was gonna to... say that the tanks even the tanks definitely have a lot more momentum than in world of tanks like unless you take your finger off the w key you're gonna keep you're gonna continue driving for a while with uh, War Thunder, where it's not the same as in World of Tanks. There's even, definitely a lot, more, a lot more momentum behind them. Little things like the um, the turret traverse rates, for instance, are a lot more kind of closer to real life than they were in you know, World of Tanks. They've always said it's un, you know un, way unhistorically uh, mm -hmm. good on basically every tank in the game. Un, unhistorically good. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I thought that I didn't speak English. <laughs> And also, what some people are noticing now is that once you don't come up with some kind of prototype slash tank that never really existed or like were were once made, basically, you actually have a fair lack of tanks. Yeah, I yeah. mean, even the Panther Two in War, in War Thunder. I mean, you can argue that that wasn't really a tank. But... Yeah, but it's like the last year before five the same looking Panthers, basically. Yeah, like. yeah. And like you have what? Three bands of threes, and you get like, you get the basic one, then you get a better gun, then you get a better gun and size skirts and blah blah blah. But for a long time, especially in the bands of four, like you have two really shitty ones, then you get a better gun finally, and then you basically have a better gun and not much more, and then you get <laughs> side skirts. 
But then again, the pa Panzer IV went from F2. Uh, I think it's a, the best tank at the rank. It's fast. It has a great gun. It uh, hits yeah, as hard as really the good. Panther. And it dies in one shot. So you don't have to worry about sitting there and firing something for 13 minutes. Oh, yeah. That's another thing, yeah. yeah. I think I saw a screenshot on Reddit. Uh, Jingles had one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was from Reddit, I think, where somebody had a repair time of 55 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that mechanic is totally like what what the hell's going on there is it's so there's no explanation as to why x takes as long as it does to and they need to bizarre. sort out the things that you should be able to decide what you want to repair for instance i might not need oh, my yeah, turret yeah. drive now i want only my tracks back so i can drive yeah. somewhere and or from other and maybe i need my turret drive so i can sit here track but still shoot people uh, i think that's also i cool. think all the tanks you unlock should come with parts and parts yeah, basically absolutely. allow you to repair because playing especially higher tier when you need a fair Not amount of resource tank. points yeah the fact yeah. that it actually yeah. scales up is yeah yeah of... yeah so before you get parts on your higher tier tanks you're gonna get fucked up of course you can spend yeah. real life money because that's and that's another that thing yeah <laughs> is that you can just buy the super Only uber cool yeah although i think most of the skills don't even work at the moment but still yeah well the, the thing is like uh for instance, playing a Tiger 2, you got your Tiger 2 first time, you go out, somebody shoots you like minor scratch and it damages your transmission. You're fucked. You're just sitting yeah. there. You yeah. can either leave or or you can sit there and wait till somebody comes and kills you, which is really, really stupid. Yeah, and if you're in heavy tank in historical simulation, you only have one tank. Yeah. So good luck with the yeah. repair speed of like 12 minutes. In the middle of fucked out nowhere. Might as well go make a fucking sandwich. <laughs> yeah, because like somebody... <laughs> Was lucky enough to shoot just your engine or some shit, and you're just yeah. standing there like, well. Another thing I noticed that like a tank's barrel can can get damaged quite a lot, and that takes like that is shit really of time to repair. It as looks well funny now. as all hell. It's like somebody put a potato <laughs> in your gun barrel, but uh, it happens a lot with all the things yeah. I've played. Uh. I I can definitely, I mean, I will, I, I keep saying to myself, I'm going to sit down and play some today, and then I just don't get around to it. So it's got less of that, that I can't play accessibility for hours, factor, like I, can I think, the world of tanks. So I think it's... Yeah, I think that has dedication. to do with the amount of waiting you actually do. Jerry. Yeah, there's that. Also, the fact that it's... I, I, I think it's going to be a game that massively rewards kind of ha like having detailed weak spot knowledge more than way more than World of Tanks because World of Tanks you just shoot somebody and weak spot knowledge is kind of like an extra layer of knowledge if you've got weak spot knowledge then you can aim for somebody's ammo rack or whatever and maybe hope to do extra damage but in, in War Thunder it's all about the weak spots it's all about shooting specific places on the tank to get that maximum amount of damage and I think that that's almost a bar to the more kind of casual level level of players that World of Tanks will attract because not everyone's going to have the inclination to sit down and learn all that stuff. Uh, yeah, there's already a fair few tanks in the and game. The, the most effective thing, but... and arguably the most fun is still playing like uh, simulation and stuff because mm. you get a fair amount of credits and resource points, and killing people actually matters and it's a lot more fun and it feels a lot more like actual tank warfare. But on the other side, sometimes you're preparing for five minutes, then you have to wait another two before you see somebody. Like, there's a lot more waiting involved than, like, real things. Like, almost constant, like, constant action, pretty much, you know? Yeah, that, that, well, I think the wait times will get better as more people get tanks, especially, like, higher tier no, circles. The, but... the queues weren't that bad when I grinded, like, the queues. I'm not like, talking the about the queues, I'm actually better. talking about playing, like, if you play yeah, yeah. simulation. Oh, well, sometimes yeah, okay, yeah, the actual match times, but that's, yeah. but that's the mentality of War Thunder in general, yeah, yeah. especially yeah. in simulation. I mean, if you are into that thing, like, if you are into Arma 2, if you're into more Battlefield than Call of Duty, but I wouldn't... The... Battlefield's nowhere near. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I get what you're saying, but... Yeah. Red Orchestra, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, even Red Orchestra does it a little bit better because yeah. the tank view is actually the tank view and not like some. I've, cool I've yet to ever play tanks in Red Orchestra and several people in one vehicle. I really like the idea, but I've yet to ever actually yeah. do it. I don't think there's even point to play Red Orchestra now when the that Heroes in General game is out. This is just like a more polished version. 
it yeah. is pay Might to well win play as hero yeah. in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit more arcadey. Well, it's not really but... pay to win, it's pay to unlock just about everything. No, it's pay to fucking win. You can <laughs> yeah, be a rank... to have a massive advantage. Do... You, can, oh. you can be a rank one soldier, buy the best gun, <laughs> and fucking club the other rank one soldiers that haven't played yeah. a single game and will who have a semi auto that? rifle that can barely <laughs> hit shit. Who would do such a thing, like yeah, buy a Thompson <laughs> at like rank one and just. And, and go, then Zuko is like, know. oh! A 17 4 <laughs> kill, kill death ratio. I'm so good at this game. Everybody's, Everybody's just like semi auto rifles. <laughs> yeah. have no idea what they're doing. They're basically shit. firing blunderbusses at you, and you come down like. <laughs> Sucker! So that's another game that's uh, popped up on everyone's radar is Heroes and Generals. Yeah. That, that's, that's Apparently it's already. Though. Yeah, so smooth. Apparently it's so already it's out for like a year or something. Yeah, but it's pretty good. I like. Uh, well, yeah, the fact is, good. you will have to grind the sh your ass off to get some some place where you actually could enjoy the game. Like I played it for like three games, uh, three days, and I I haven't even got to the point where I actually have a different gun. I'm yeah, still yeah, yeah, yeah. Gun. I bought I bought what I played for around twenty five hours in three days or something like that. Quite a lot. So I bought one tank. Uh, I bought one character that costed almost nothing. And I bought, uh, did I buy anything else? No, that's it. I managed to buy one character and a tank, and now I'm saving up for uh, for a gun, which is 120k, you make 5k every 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, so it's fuck with that. And a lot like of things are so... Money at the screen, then. Yeah, you can buy everything, basically. Yeah, Once you, you get a tank crew, you can just buy the Pershing. You can buy the tank crew. You don't even have to. I can buy the tank crew. <laughs> you but can, yeah. This is just the definition of pay to win, then. Yeah, no, yeah, but, yeah. but the thing is, like, uh, pay, pay, you can progress there. But the thing is, like, if you don't want to be an ordinary rifleman, you can just pay to be a sniper right away. No yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're kind of gonna skip the, all the early gameplay. Like, you won't do like a noob missions at all. Yeah, and uh, it seems like the balance is a bit off in the early stage of the game. Because Panzer 38 and Ace are just wrecking people. All but day. then again, like the entire strategic aspect of that game, I haven't even touched it. There's like, you can get your own assault teams and move them around the map. Yeah, 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 I haven't done anything that with that. Well, it's anything. still, I mean, I played 25 hours, I'm one third to getting the shittiest assault team. So, yeah, <laughs> GG. G -G. Or you can just... Hey, I, th I, I think we already lost the Second World War like three times in a week or something. <laughs> I, I think Americans. it's over already. I think yeah, yeah, we're, we're fucked already. Is it over? Yeah. We're all speaking German. That's great. Nice. Yeah. I like it though. I like what they're doing with yeah, it. Yeah, I like it's the game. Bicycles, man, it's the bicycles, Dutch bias. Oh, holy shit! How can I not talk about the bicycles? The bicycles <laughs> in that game. Bicycles and shovels. That's it's the, the best so fucking OP. bike physics I've seen in a while. But <laughs> now I, think I don't get. Like, to, to research a combat knife, you need to hit people with a shovel. <laughs> yeah. You need to melee people. How is that not logic? Yeah, and then you can unlock a knife. Yeah. Hang on, you need, yeah. A, sh you need a melee shovel before you can have a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you yes. can headshot people with a shovel. Yeah, but, but which point do you have play to? Yeah. to? Like what General says, no, we won't equip the men with knives. Give them shovels. <laughs> yeah. Make yeah. them prove themselves in But combat. then again, what I just did my first day is ride on a bike with a shovel. Right all the way around people, and then from behind it, just whack everybody in the face. Yeah. And then just ting ding away, which you, because you can use the bell on it. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. So troll. It is, it's a lot of... Have you tried it out, Maxwell, or not? No, no, I haven't, I haven't had time. I don't, I don't have time to play other games. Well, Jedi turned into a washing wreck. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, I, it would be interesting to see how higher rank uh, tank gameplay works in that game because it's more like uh, tanks versus infantry and so on and yeah. aircraft and shit. It it would be interesting, but then again, it requires a lot of money to. to throw I was gonna it. say if, if if I can just throw some money at the screen, then I might give it a try. Yeah, uh, but you could definitely got, throw I've, money I've, at I've that fucking the time game. To put into it, but uh, let's, for let's like see. twenty bucks, you can buy like a tank, a Thompson, and all that yeah. shit. Well, I mean, That's... I haven't got the time to put in, so if I play once a week and just throw some money at the Dude, screen... This, this is what you should do, just to have one, like, mini-game. Just get a new guy, and buy him a Thompson, and then yeah. don't rank up, like, to, t to tank crew or whatever. Just stay normal, and then all you'll meet is, like, other people with, like, blunderbusses. Yeah. And then you just murder them and with you your shovel and your murder bicycle. Them. Shovel, bi bicycle, and a Thompson gun. That's all you need in a game. <laughs> and win. But uh, like, I would be nice if they put Russians in there as well. I mean, Americans fine. Will. 
they, they tank tanks American tanks are kind of shit if you like look at the tank warfare I mean they're good if they're outnumbering the enemies but the Germans always will have better armor and so on so the Americans have to beat them in tactics and by your equal numbers it usually doesn't go that way yeah and you're almost always equal numbers yeah. so the Germans are like la, 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 la. But I played my Stuart I racked up like shit load of kills and my team the team still couldn't win anything like and again, when you meet the German tank for head on, you're almost always gonna lose because yeah, yeah. their tank warfare seems to be uh, World of Tanks way of doing things. It's hit points and shit. You have to shoot in a certain tanks certain amount of times with penetration. There's armor penetration and so on, which is nice, but uh, there isn't like weak spots and shit at all. Yeah, and it's you usually like, like into fire, the into exploding. Yeah, there's black smoke, there's... It's like yeah. Grand Theft <laughs> Auto. It's like Grand Theft Auto. You damage your car till it uh, gets on fire. <laughs> yeah. Hell, if you could have... Imagine though, if you could have a Tiger tank with like... Um, uh, rims instead of, you know, the, the, the road wheels you, you put on light. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let, let's nice. see, heroes in general store, how much do do a uh, tire, uh, well, I'm, since I'm American, that, I can't that's, buy a that's always, that's always the problem with these World War II simulation games, is the, the sides are normally, like you've said, even numbers, whereas in World War II, the Germans didn't have as maybe as many tanks as the Russians or the Americans, but they were just better. It's like the, the Americans won and the Russians won because the, the, the Russians had like 10,000 T-32s. Yeah, exactly. That's how they won. But that's also how they were designed, pretty much. They were designed to go yeah, one yeah. one it just like No, one, they were designed to have, to, have, to have 10 T-32s per Tiger tank. Yeah. So, for 10 euros, you can buy the tank crew and the best tank for Americans, so the Pershing, for 10 euros. Easy. <laughs> Sold. You can buy your Good tank luck. crew and your tank. Easy game, easy game. Yeah. I don't know, if, since I'm in the American uh, faction, I can't even see how much the German tanks cost. That, that's marvelous. Yeah. And they, they have, uh, like, headsets and stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's America's a bit. Oh, okay. whoa. Wow. Holy shit. America struck back. The war is not over. We're no? taking back the land. We, wow. We actually took back uh, the entire north of uh, England. We actually lost that. We oh, there's an actual country. larger campaign going on. Yeah, as well. yeah, it's like a huge. All campaign. the battles, like oh, you oh, it's, only, it's only England, though. No, no, it's no, not. Okay, no. no, but like, no, there's, but it's, it's like entire Europe. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And like, that sounds interesting. You... If there's a if there's a larger meta game going on as yeah, well, basically you queue up and then you fight one of the battles on the the border, basically. So yeah. basically, what I understood, like I'm not a complete pro on this, but I read some wiki and shit. So oh my god. So basically. You can buy like assault teams that will spawn in the uh, headquarters of your country. So basically London or whatever is German headquarters. I'm not even going to try to fail there. Uh, you basically buy the assault teams like uh, infantry team and you move it around the map. And when they meet, the, there's either a simulation or real players take place in your assault team and fight it out each other. Also like. actual, actual players in yeah. your assault team. That you bought for whatever you bought. War bonds or something. Hmm. Yeah, like yeah. another currency. So you could really just play it as a real-time strategy game. Yeah, you could play it as a strategy as well, but you should play as, uh, it as Americans. They always <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Americans are so fucked. Yeah. Wait, let, let, let's see. Let's <laughs> well, for best... to play. It's pretty cool. It basically got everyone's attention because the Yawkaz are playing it. Because it's already a year old. And yeah. the Yawkaz made some videos and the servers were dying. So you, ah, that's uh, I much. honestly hadn't heard of it before that point, uh, but I don't pay massive amounts of I attention think, I think, to. I think I saw someone make a video that many about online it. games, really. Like I saw someone make a video about six, six or eight months ago about how hilarious it was to ride a bike and troll people. What? Yeah. On Heroes and Generals, I saw something about it about half a year ago. I'm, I'm I think sure somebody the... made a. Somebody made a what? A, a video of riding around on a bicycle trolley. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. I'm hey. sure the Yogg's cast have done a video of it before at some point, but they didn't do a kind of big splashy event out of it. It was just, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's even the first time they've covered it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a sweet game, though. Hey, see you later, Jedi. Did you drop? Yep. Great success. Such, such internet. Such internets. So OP. Yeah. I can still hear you, but there's no Camarino. I have to, I have to turn there it back on every time. 
So that's the, the I put a video in Skype. I can put it in the main chat. But uh, that's that's the video I was talking about. With the bike trolling. With the with the bike trolling. I've put it in the uh, Twitch chat. It's fairly funny. I think this is basically what I've been doing. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. That's basically what I was doing the first time I played this. I made an island on Twitch about it. Yeah, just riding around on a bike. You just ride on a bike, you go all the way around the forest, and you come up behind him, and it's like, plink, <laughs> shovel to the face. Because you're next and that face. video, yeah, that video is over a year old now. Yeah, yeah the game is old. While. So it's kind of weird that they haven't like put Russians in there, but I guess yeah. they're doing some balancing things. I'm not even, I haven't read their dev blog and how fast things are going there, but it doesn't seem to be very fast. As long as they're not doing like major balancing changes, which are yeah. probably not very, very good because Germans always win. Yeah, just because of the whole like uh, like seventeen versus seventeen or whatever, it's always fucked. Because if the half of the Germans have tanks, it's like well, fuck yeah, you. that's a lot but of tanks. They they are kind of weird picking like the assault team picking. So for instance, is that if there's like. Five assault teams versus five. They will have like an automatic system that picks the assault teams for you that are fighting at the moment because they can't do all of them at the same time because uh, the server load would be well. You can't do like forty versus forty and shit. That would be cool, but it's not gonna happen. So basically, you, it can like spawn uh, Germans with tanks and uh, the and Americans with mechanized infantry. And yeah, good luck killing those tanks with your infantry. Yep. Especially when you run around and you don't have the rockets or anything yet, and yeah. you basically can't do anything. But uh, there is, like, if you play a bit more and learn the maps, there is like uh, rocket launchers that you can pick up, and every every like major point of interest, there's like a rocket launcher laying on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find those later, usually in like towers and stuff. And yeah, yeah. Well, in ma a major like cap points, there is one. Yeah. But still, like a lot of people are just like, oh well. Yeah, oh, I'm. Me. I'm just gonna run at the tank and hope it doesn't see me. And then I'm gonna try try to place a mine on it so it dies. Yeah. <laughs> or you just buy the mine and the rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah, let's see how much no is the No problem. They're pretty cheap though. I think most of them. No, but they're not cheap. fucking cheap. No. <laughs> For ten euros or something. It's I like it's like half a year's potato crop that costs. <laughs> wait, Don't wait, worry, wait. Romania export is in the rise, man. Well, yeah, for euros, it's gonna, not gonna be that much, but for in-game credits, I still yeah, don't yeah, in-game credits is like it's, insane. Yeah, it's oh, ten euros for a rocket launcher on one of your characters. The thing is, if you make another character, you can't use the same fucking yeah, bazooka just... on it. <laughs> wow, you need to buy that's a just the one. best part because by it... locked per character. Yeah, yeah. That just that's wow. cool shit. <laughs> And if you go, if you go wow. from instance, if you go from Americans to Germans, you don't have anything in Germans. You can't use wow. anything. You start Nothing's from account wide. That's pretty bullshit. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's just what you would call cash gouging. And for instance, to change the name of your character, you mm. need to pay seven k credit or credits, which yes. is well, like two games. <laughs> you need to play two games. It has like premium account as well, but it's more liberal than well. The tanks is like twenty five percent plus to everything, not fifty or not to even hundred. Like more than yeah. fifty, though. I'm pretty sure it's fifty. Not 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 to everything. Wait, give me a sec. Yeah, not to everything, but to like XP. Where the fuck is this shit? Huh? The confusion. Yeah, really. <laughs> Oh, memberships. Yeah, there we go. It's 50 plus credits, 25 plus war funds, 25 plus XP. Yeah, 25 plus XP. And the pay to win extra combat badge slot, which is basically a perk. So you instead of two per instead of one perks, if you pay the money, you can get two perks, which is a great success as well. It's a great success, yeah. Throw your money at the screen now. And yeah. it's still uh, kind of a fun game, but... Yeah, like, there's so many things that are pretty. Valuable. I I can feel if I like if you invest a lot of time or a lot of money and it it can be really good and it can be a lot of fun. But the lot ranking up is not fun at all. I haven't yeah. checked out the generals part at all yet. Maybe that's it pretty cool. Does well, that's sound, like a uh, mini game basically. I, I haven't even tried it yet, but it does sound just if you don't want to spend any money on it, it does sound horrendously grindy, and I'm not that interested in horrendously grindy games to be honest. So. Well. As a shooter, you don't really feel the grind. If you enjoy the game, you'll be mm, yeah. fine. But the thing is, like, you spawn as infantry with any anti-tank weapons. And, like, the first thing I would recommend, if you go start to play this game, you either don't go for tanks, which is not very good, or you just get rocket launcher right away so you can deal with tanks right away. Doesn't and... sound like you need to grind anything, though. It just sounds like you need to have some 
Just just pay. <laughs> yeah, pay or play. I haven't play, paid anything for this game. I'm rank 6 now in infantry. It's not that... Well, I still don't have a rocket launcher or any other gun than the fucking <laughs> standard rifle. But, but I'm rank 6. And you have a steward, crazy. man. Yeah, I have a steward, man. That <laughs> cost of like 60k. <laughs> wow. Okay. Which, which is... So, why, what? 12 hmm? games that can last up to like an hour? Which is ridiculous. That's, and that's just like enough space. Win. That's if you win. If you yeah. lose, <laughs> you, win. you get like three or four k per game. It depends, obviously, wow. if you're like a really good yeah. shot. The games game are or, pretty odd sometimes. Gone. Sometimes they're like ten yeah. minutes. Sometimes it's literally like an hour. It's like God, genius. I mean, that's that's the reason I don't really bloody. That's the reason I don't play League of Legends anymore. So I don't want to get locked into a game for fifty yeah. minutes. It's like no, fuck that. Mm -hmm. Fifteen minutes maximum. That'll do me. And you can buy the... like a contract as well, where you get fifty percent more credits, but you have to stay in the game for at least fifty percent of the time. Of the, the, a, uh, a lot of those those yeah. style of games actually are deliberately moving away from like deliberately trying to make the matches much shorter, specifically for that part, you know that people don't want to be stuck in a game for fifty minutes because yeah. game games like LOL, you can have one player that basically keeps everybody else stuck in the match if they want to get. Yeah, the, it's like let's the surrender, board. and then one guy yeah. is like, no. <laughs> we can do this, guys. We can do this. No, no, we can't. Stop no. fucking trying. No. Just let me out of this game. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, please. There's <laughs> always yeah. that one game. That one oh, game. I have to wave to Maria, apparently. Also, for people wondering that uh, I, I do actually have a beard that I, I put this out It's an before, Amish it, beard. It's a multi purpose beard. Behind his back. Yeah, yeah. It, I, can, I can use it for multiple things. Can you do this in so, mustache? Yeah. Make it a mustache. Yep, yep. See, there you go. Oh. It's more of a. <laughs> it's a bit hard to speak with that. Yeah, it doesn't really work so well as a mustache, but anyway. Nice. It's just pointy, though. What the um, fuck? It, it could be made pointy. I'd, I'd need a lot of hair what gel. The what's like, much? all the hair gel. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, what? you know, there's like anywhere in the. Or heroes in general, there's like, uh, what the fuck even is this called? War bonds? Yeah, yeah. That yeah, you yeah. can buy? The yeah. most expensive, like, there's two ones. There's one that's reasonably cheap. It costs, like, 2k gold, which yeah. is, like, 20 euros. And then there's one that costs around 200 euros. Yeah, but... <laughs> are you the fuck? Fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, but you get a monthly pay yeah. of gold, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen Basically, that. You get that's everything ridiculous. back, but you have to put 200 euros in this game. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. do it once. Cool. You basically if you're paying two hundred euros. You better get a gold-plated fucking Pershing or something. <laughs> no, you don't get. You shit. basically get a you lot of gold, and then every month you get a lot of gold. And I'm pretty sure you can't even spend all of it. No, the thing is, like, if you invest two hundred gold, you probably can sustain your economy because you'll earn gold with this shit. Like, oh, you right. that what the gold bonds do? You get so paid you, yeah, yeah, back yeah. for them. Yeah, yeah, you get, get paid and invest again, but then again, it's two fucking hundred euros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit. You get like twenty percent every month, something yeah. like that. And interest is eight percent, so you basically get eight percent more than you put in there. So I, every that's month, what I though. assume, not every but month still. in total. Like you'll get your your entire gold back and plus eight. Oh right, yeah, you get it back in every month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's fucking crazy. I've so seen if you're really, if you've got that much spare money and you're playing the game a lot, then it kind of makes sense. But you'd have to really like the game to want to drop that much. Yeah, yeah that's you can, a, you can lot a lot of games for that money. Humble Even bubbles. like the most expensive World of Tanks packages are like 100 euros at most in one go, but they come up, you know, a couple of, a couple of times a year, so it's like you could easily spend more than that World of Tanks if you're nice. buying all the more expensive packages. And well, you I, don't... Spend about, I, say, I easily spend 30 euros a month on it. Mm. it. Sounds like a pyramid scheme indeed. Somebody in the chat said. That yeah. is really beautiful. Like they take your oh sorry our servers went down. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oops. And they went down a fuck ton after. Well, the, they uh... weren't that bad. Like they no, went but down that, once. No, but that, they... that's when we were playing it. The week before it was like everything. Well, yeah, probably because they got like shitload of players that actually went to play the game now because of Yorkcast or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yorkcast, basically Yorkcast only. Yorkcast army. <sighs> Oh, such a camera. I think it can't cope with it. My, my internet can't cope with the fact that I'm getting both Max's webcam and Fosh's at the same time. I'll turn mine on. Oh god, it'll oh. explode <laughs> completely then. So, has anybody actually played Death Server? Because I'm pretty sure none of us has. Max yes, has. Extensively. I think Max might be the only Oh, one. Max! Yeah, you made the videos about it. Sorry. What the fuck? The Max. new map, Kharkov. I fucking love it. It looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's probably going to be the best map that they've implemented since 
Kamarin. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, Who's the, 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 the work Kamarin, yeah. The changes to Kamarin are actually really, really good. Because you know the, ma the, the magical forest in the south from the yeah. south spawn? You can't use that anymore because it's been sunk down into the terrain. So everywhere you look, there's just ridges. You can't fire out of it unless you're an arty. It's a, it's an same, arty, arty. same, same in the, in the north spawn yeah, 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 yeah. where you're looking down that big long straight. There's now a big hill and you can't see anything downrange. People have to come over that hill before you can hit them. So now those forests are just an arty position. Tank destroyers are going to have to basically go fuck themselves. But uh, a lot of the that water's should... disappeared in Kamaran as well. It's now all mostly ground with just two little rivers. I saw that in Arctic region as well. That the amount of like the the big central lake bit has shrunk considerably. Yeah, it's now mostly uh, mostly ground. But uh, the Kharkov map, it does look like it's going to be amazing. It's got some dense sort of concentric rings of roads with buildings. One big open Ukrainian independence square in the <laughs> it bottom right. It reminded me of a Red Alert map or something. Yeah, yeah a mini it, map. Does, it does a bit. It there was, of, like, I think I remember reading a while ago on FTR, they based... And I might be getting confused here. I think they based a bit of it. There was a particular building that was from Stalingrad, but that might be a whole other map. Wasn't that a different map? I think they were trying. It was to actually going like... to be a Stalingrad map. I was just yeah. as I was saying it, and I thought, hmm, actually, maybe I'm getting two things <laughs> conflated yeah. here. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, right. the um, are they taking it any maps like... out of rotation? Well, it's it's Freedom it's Freedom Square that it's that it's based on. I'm pretty sure. Are they taking any maps out? No, but I'm pretty sure they're putting Dragon Ridge back in. Oh shit! I think Drizzly. I think the only other changes that Drizzly Runeberg is is getting lowered map rotation. So we'll see that. Just slight, just slightly really yes. We need more Ensk. We need more Ensk. Damn it. Yeah, well, make, make slightly rainy rainy Ensk now, please. Slightly rainy Ensk, wintry Ensk. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, just, just sunny uh, Ensk just... on snow. Yeah. Or, or, or it's snow. On ice. <laughs> And it's see which map you're favouring. But uh, no, just, cool. just, the, just the attention to detail and everything in the in the Kharkov maps just brilliant. Like the ruined tanks everywhere, the different changes in elevation. You've got a wide open space in the top in the north uh, west. It just looks like it's going to be a re It's either going to be a really good map to play or it's going to be a right fuck on because someone could just hide somewhere and you'd never find them. It's going to be. Um... It does. It does look like a flanker's paradise, to be honest. All the fast mediums and all the lights yeah. have a lot to do. Uh, even the fast tank destroyers. Oh. The the temptation, I think, is going to be for a lot of people. Is, oh, there's lots of buildings and stuff. I'll just sit here and side scrape all back along. And Speaking cross, of lights, yeah. they can just drive around them. The, the enemy can just drive around them. So it's. The other, I, I think it'd be interesting. One of the other big changes to the maps is Tundra, I think, because you know, in Tundra, if you're a heavy tank, you go hill. That's it. You, you go to hill, and yeah, that's on the where right you side. go. They've now, got an entire ditch on the left, right? Yeah, they've now changed the whole left-hand side. There's now no water there anymore, and there's a couple of different valleys, and the yeah. um, the sawmill's been moved to that flank as well. So now that's pretty much, with there being a big, long corridor, that's where all the heavies are going to go and clash, and really now you're going to get the mediums going to the hill. That's a welcome yep. change. The fucking water was so annoying when you get yeah. there. Yeah, the nobody did like... anything there. Everything yeah. just got bogged down there. You never, nobody ever yep. went to that. Oh, and the the hill in the back left hand corner behind where the yeah uh, yeah where that, the... that's flattened as well now. Oh sweet, <laughs> where all that's like hell, four where less where TDs being can. useless at my team. Oh yeah. sweet, where all the Hellcats would go and sit. Yeah, all the buffles, yeah, all the gone. fucking yak Death even stars. Death stars. But yeah, all, all that water's gone. It's been changed to a big, long, deep valley, and then the sawmill's been turned around and put there as well with some destructible and indestructible buildings. So the changes to Tundra look pretty good as well. It's going to change the dynamic well, of it a bit. There but and um, The only feature I'm really excited about is the new gun sounds. Fucking finally. And I, and I hear they're really three bad. Years. Holy they're crap. not, they're not oh, that man. great. They well, they seem to have they've taken about three out, or yeah. four actual recordings, and I think they've kind of jiggled, and, jiggled and yeah. Coffee but I think they'll a lot, a lot they'll of they'll go and get other gun sounds, actual gun sounds too. A lot of the guns sound very, very similar, and the low caliber ones, like even like even the seventy odd or ninety millimeters, just sound like pop caps. They don't really sound like giant cannons. You know what's odd as well is that they changed the sounds of Jackson and the Hellcat. Oh, the, the oh, yeah. Is it something. engine sounds or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, oh, and the turret, the turret, uh, like the turret, turret first. That's a yeah. different sound as well. 
Yeah, the, the, guns, the gun sounds are a step in the right direction. They sound better. Like, you can now hear the gun, the uh, shell being ejected like a Norm Father's, but the mm. guns just don't sound beefy enough. But uh, they have added new... War Thunder has really good... Like, the War Thunder yeah, Tiger the guns sounds sound like a excellent. huge tank, not like a, like a pop cap, as you said. Like, not, even now, the sounds of the 88mm are just ridiculously stupid. It's like... Oh, a big tiger tank. <laughs> World War Two best tank, yes? <laughs> and then you have pew, 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 pew. Yeah. I'm still waiting on that sound bar that changes the RT gun sounds to like clicking. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody should do a sound yeah. pack. So all, all the all, all the RT sounds oh. are just like click when That's it fires. Fun. And then all the other tanks are just people going pew, 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 pew. pew. That'd be <laughs> yeah. kind of funny. That's what they did with Gunstrike. I think it was Gunstrike. No, or Team Fortress 2, where they changed all the sounds to... Like, they did uh, uh, for the... uh, April Fools for Minecraft. Yeah. That was uh, Basically, it was like it was somebody saying all or, or the... You know, whatever was happening or whatever That's you were really doing. Funny. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. They're also changing yeah. the scout matchmaking, apparently making it a little, little more forgiving. Yeah. I might are they, are they like, hard changing it to like two tiers? Basically, between tiers four to seven, you're losing... I think, you'd, I think you can no longer get into tier ten matches. I think seven? Dropping... That would be weird. Oh. Mm -hmm. ELC, ELC will be... Tiers 4 to 7 are losing Just one rank steps. of matchmaking. I think it's one. It might be two, but I think so it's Sheffy one. So Sheffy can only see two... No, eight. Chaffee didn't get changed at all. No, no, but it, it'll get knocked down to tier 9. Ev everything between tier 4 to 7 is losing one rank no, but of matchmaking, Ch apparent. Chaffee isn't getting that change because it still hasn't been rebalanced. Every other scout in the game has been rebalanced for it. Not the Chaffee. Chaffee is still the old tier 5 scout, like the T-52 used to be, like the VK used to be before they yeah. break it and put it in tier 6. And <laughs> what else? That's but it, I, I I'm, I'm going to finally... Because I, I kind yeah. of... I've got maybe 20k XP on the, the Stuart to, towards the Chaffee, and I just kind of gave up with trying to grind <laughs> through it. Because it is a lot of XP to get the Chaffee, if, but I might now had, actually... If it had, like, tier 7 or tier... No, wait, mm. tier 8 only? Up to that tier 8, it'll cool. be fine. It's a brilliant tank. Yeah, no, then, no, then I would get it. Then I would the get thing it. about the Chaffee is, like, if you want to farm XP, if you want to yeah, set Chaffee your XP record, good. Chaffee is where you go. Because you get yeah. sick matchmaking and tier 5 tank. You get all the bonus XP for shooting those tier 10s, and the gun is still good enough to pan those tier 10s as well, especially if you're low yeah. gold, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I might get it. And uh, I think the A20, not that anybody really drives the A20 anymore, that doesn't get scout matchmaking anymore. Oh, yeah, they finally did it, did it, and, changed uh, that. And the Panzer 38 and all that shit? <clears throat> no, that's still... It's still. Well, uh... But still, I mean, it will get now, what, tier 7 matchmaking at yeah. worst? Yeah. So it's not yeah, that it bad. Be. That's a step in the right direction. That's actually something we talked about in the previous podcast. And how to yeah, fix and the the, um, the tank destroyer firing, uh, revealing stealth, yeah. run out of words thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's coming into I effect as well. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have that today. Actually, the, the that earlier match today, the ball sequence which was like because it was. It was like less than 150 meters in front of me, but because it was more than 15 meters behind the bush, even though it fired at my front of my tiger too. That two, won't change. What? Since the, 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 like, as long as there's bush and between you and him, and he's not in that range, 50 meters or whatever mm. it was, it, it will not matter at all. Oh, there well, could be okay. an E100. That will still be annoying then. Yeah, yeah. What, what they're doing is they're just bringing their, the, the guns of the tank destroyers more, well, into line with guns that would be mounted on a regular tank. So if, say, I don't know, something, if a tank destroyer had an 88mm, it would, be, it would just get the same stealth written as if, it, say, a Tiger had fired as well. Yeah. So basically, the losing the bonus is is all. Yeah. Well, it's a welcome change. I mean, there's yeah. a, a, too many camping tank destroyers now in the game. Absolutely. It's but still better than steps in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, rather than just saying taking the tank destroyers and nerfing them by cutting their penetration and their alpha damage, they're actually reworking maps, reshaping it, and changing game mechanics rather than just like hitting them with a giant nerf sledgehammer. No, but if you look at how tank destroyers are balanced up to tier 9, it's they have like ha almost half of the hit points of the heavy tanks. They get ridiculous guns, but they have no health, so basically they yeah. can't be at the front. And at tier 10, they get well, like, what, 200 less hit points? Like yeah, 2,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. is about yeah. average for a tank destroyer, and what, like 2,300 is an average for a heavy tank at tier 10. So the difference is not that big, but they still get the huge cannons that are so 
Yeah. Much better than the heavy Death tanks. tanks. Yep. Yeah, no, the balance brilliantly up to tier 9. It's as soon as you take that step to tier 10, it's just... It gets Even tier 9. Tier 90 uh, as well. Like, a tier 8, you get 1,000 hit points on the tank destroyer, around 1,000. And a tier 9, you get almost 1,600. So almost the double. Well, not double, but like 60% more hit points is quite a lot yeah. for one tier. You think maybe put it up to, say, 12 or 1,400. Yeah. Well, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. They could have as well balanced them by giving them more hit points, but taking away the, the OP guns. For for instance, I'm playing on the ISU now. It's just ridiculous. You two shot everything in your tier, yeah. which is slightly yeah. absurd. It's so good that you don't get a different gun in tier 9. Yeah. <laughs> it's same I mean, I mean, it's the same fucking gun. People are like, oh, they are OP. One-shotting people. You can easily one-shot the like, tier 7 tank destroyers with an yeah. ISU all high. Yeah. A bit ridiculous. Yep. So yeah, but no, the, like, the number of times today you fired and then immediately went fuck, fuck. That was yeah. quite funny. <laughs> well, not quite that OP. It's only OP when you actually hit something. No, but <laughs> I, I generally believe that accuracy is a stat that they need to fix again because when they uh, fixed it last time, when they made everything super accurate, I think they overdone it quite a bit. Because now I think if you have better accuracy than 0.4, you're perfectly fine. You don't need accuracy after that at all. Well, 0.4. Or, so. or bigger than 0.6 in the case of the KPT. Well, yeah. But, <laughs> but I, 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 I think really accuracy cannot, is like an E4, for instance. You can sh hit everything you shoot. 0.37. Even the ISU, like you get the fuck shots, but then most of the time you didn't aim them because you rushed them or whatever. You hoped for luck, but you didn't actually aim them properly. I think and it's good for most things, but some things should be a little bit more inaccurate. Yeah, to like the SU gun. Yeah, yeah. the SU is ridiculous. Yeah. No, like like in the nine point one changes, they definitely look like they're gonna. The, even the map reworks gonna change you, a lot uh, of the maps that we hated. Did you uh, experience like any improvement in the performance? Because uh, I think I, it's I didn't notice. Did have better stuff. Jingles didn't really touch on that either, but maybe he wouldn't have noticed, especially with his setup, because he's got a fairly beefy computer. Yeah. Because that was a major really... issue for a lot. Yeah. They're, they're apparently yeah. fixing the, the crashes and all of the micro lag and everything, but apparently they, they said well, that. We've but they didn't know that. it was going to happen in 9.0, yeah. so... No. It was, I mean, to be fair to them, 9.0 was a very big patch in terms of there was a lot of back end stuff that went in yeah. to prepare the way for HD graphics and the Havoc physics which are still to come as are well. Are there bringing so. any new HD models or that's it? We got like oh, five. Yeah, that's I a good think question. they are, no. I've not no, read that not they that are. That is a bit silly actually. That is actually think... Like they put engine sounds on like two tanks so now <laughs> Alfred will have engine sounds and HD model but rest of you can go. Oh hang on, it's hang okay. on. No, no, the improved exhaust graphics. Oh, oh. No. That's, that's those hit the exhausts. Tweaking of that on the last. I don't know. Well, it's really weird that they're not putting like even yeah, one it's or fine, two. It's fine. It's fine have... because they're finally splitting the game with us. Oh no, wait. Oh, no, I have suspicion. Oh, no, wait. We need an HD model to do that. <laughs> I, I well, I think part of it will be that they've, they've been trying to set up in there was like a production line for HD models, and maybe they're still working on that. I'm sure they're maybe working on the next strike. match. Strike like, on the production line. There's also, um, there was actually, I don't know if you read it, there was another, to refer back to FDR again, which we frequently do, uh, that um, Science Stalker made a post regarding client size and that they actually are kind of w worried about client bloat and about it getting too big. And if you, uh, what was another game recently? Was it um, Wolfenstein or something? A lot of people picked up on the fact that it's like a 40 gigabyte 40 download. gigabytes, yeah. 40 and, gigs? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is this is clearly a thing that's on people's minds at the moment because uh, that's a good point. Looking at my world of tanks there, was twenty four point two gig. You can delete half of it because if it goes tanks, the update it's... folder. Yeah, but yeah. the 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 HD uh, models and the textures are gonna take up more room and yeah. But that's the thing; they want to keep both, right? So what the what they're gonna do? Well, I've saw screenshots. Where basically, if you're gonna download the game, you get an option like, do you want the fucking HD, mm. or do you don't? Do you want like lower, uh, lower graphics bullshit? But, but they I haven't done it yet, but they will do that. Arguments at the moment about what they, the direction they're taking with the HD graphics and how they're gonna do that exactly without having a, a massive client download, because that might put some people off. 
But then again, like uh, like they all like they said, graphics sell games. Even though most of the people are playing on the shitty PCs on lowest yeah. graphics, graphics still sell games because like now most of the like, why do you play War Thunder? I mean, well, the tanks look like shit. Just look at it. War Thunder <laughs> so much better. And if you manage to get that on par with War Thunder at least, then you can like you don't have that reason why not play World of Tanks anymore. And like having a giant client size, I mean, that's where world is going these days. I mean, all the new games with great textures and great graphics are going to be big. And if they want to keep like the low, low definition stuff in the game, they might have a separate download or something like that. But I can't yeah. see them not making their game better because the download might be too big. I can't see I, that I, at all. I think, uh, by the way, that the HD models for real things are pretty cool. I think yeah. uh, the way they did it is fun. Yeah. I think it like lasts a pretty long while for such a game. They're yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's yeah. it's been a good it has been a good update and there's always that kind of tension in in online games, especially where you've got to keep the existing paying customers happy, but you've got to attract new paying customers as and well. It's also what they're doing in World of Warcraft, right? Where they change mm. the model characters after eight years or something. Yeah, eventually they, they're changing them slowly. Yeah, but like you can have the option to to use the old one or the new one, and the new ones basically look. You still recognize your old character in it. And yeah. That's, a, they, that's also what they're doing for Little Tanks, basically. But uh, I think we talked about this in the last podcast where they basically nerfed and buffed things all yeah, of a like, sudden with HD models. Like, okay. No, the same. It's happening to, like, if you read FDR now, the new latest thing is that Object 430s are getting screwed over again with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some weird Yeah, didn't I see too. something about a, a tank that was. Its hit it was, model was a lot yeah. taller or a lot no, no, shorter no, than the shorter. actual model of the tank. The four thirty model. So you'd model fire at the top and you'd just miss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you get go. That's how you get the go shells. Yeah. And stuff like that. Because the hitbox is actually a lot shorter than the model actually is. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So if you shoot at the top of the turret, you'll uh, you'll miss it. Yeah. Which is a bit fucked up. Which was interesting. And like, they, they didn't they also have some lower tier tanks that all of a sudden had like gaping holes in the model? Yeah, just no armor. Was it a 38 yeah, like, T? Yeah, no yeah. Armor. It's all hell. Giant holes where yeah, you can yeah. fire straight through. Yeah. Yeah. And then now they fucked over the Valentine, or like the, you know, Valentine Premium one that they, nobody they plays. They overbuffed but, like, it, and now they're un overbuffing it. No, 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 no. And... What happened was there were, there were three parts of the tank that were suddenly 30 millimeters instead of like 70. Right. So I was like, alright, well, fucked up. And nobody knows it because nobody plays the thing. So every once in a while, I was like, oh, I looked at this model and this seems fucked up. I was like, oh, yeah. We fucked it up. Just no no QA, obviously. But, um, nobody, nobody's sitting there going, let's just double check this before oh, we roll it out. Also, another thing that the whole like increasing client thing is also kind of fucked up because that also means that they're waiting with tanks, I think. Like, if you bring in new tanks, it's probably a big portion of your mm. memory. I yeah. want new tanks, damn it! Yeah, but uh, as I said, I can't see like them stopping the evol uh, evolution of their game because the client size is too yeah, big. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. not, they're not, but they, they want to find something. But I mean, eventually, I mean, I mean, the game's been going for how many years already? Another two or three years down the line, they might come up with some new, I don't know, some new encoding method which just suddenly reduces the size of the client. The, I think... They they have to, uh, I mean, at this point, the, the after Havoc physics coming in, I think the biggest, ma most massive change they could make after that would be something in the core engine itself with actual open world, because, of course, yeah. they, they bought the open world developers, so maybe there will be something at some point. But I mean, I mean, you've got to think that makes it a, few, a few years down the line, I mean, they're already a lot of companies are trying to get quite big on this cloud streaming thing so god knows a few years down the line you might not even need to download the game you just hit yeah, the button yeah. start playing everything will be hosted on the server that's, and just stream to you that's already happening isn't it well exactly yeah there's there's companies isn't, that do that with smaller some games but... does it, yeah and mm -hmm. oh, also recently steam released the, the home released stream it as well basically i yeah. can run a game here and play it on my old crappy laptop mm -hmm. and the only lag you will have is your basically your internet input speed which so exactly, these so, days is still pretty good. <laughs> so a couple, a couple of years down the line... Jedi is fucked, not, but you yeah, know, everybody yeah, else is fucked. Yeah, yeah. Not, not going to be for me. Yeah, yeah, but that's pretty cool. Like Diablo or whatever, you can just play it. So like that's, that's, that's probably how they're going to get around that problem, is just stream the whole game to you. Yeah, they're making almost everything on their servers. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything server-side. <laughs> Say no, goodbye to your mind. Like, 
the next step for all the tanks is really to invest one of the hundred million billion dollars they make every year to <laughs> make a new every engine. Month. <laughs> Uh, into what flash are uh, to a new engine i mean they need to upgrade yeah, 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 yeah. this what did they have what's this small world something small oh, big world, world. Oh, big world, big world yeah. small world small world big, fuck big you engine <laughs> was designed for rpg games yeah. well in some strange but way it is kind of an rpg they've, they've shoehorned game. tanks and planes and hoping to shoehorn the drive ships through a mechanic well. and pick up a wrench so we can <laughs> fix your tank a new quest <laughs> No, basically, drop the wrench if you look at the new garage. Holy shit, that guy needs to stop dropping the wrenches. Oh no, Jesus. <laughs> that guy. You know I don't have him anymore. You know, what, you know what? This is the best part if you tap about. Uh, it's like, <laughs> they're gonna make so much noise. Like, oh shit, he's back. Make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> look busy, look busy. Cling, cling. When you tap in the game, it's like everybody dropping wrenches, some bells and shit. Like, what the yeah. fuck? That's what I do. Uh, that's what I. What they should do with the KV4. They should just keep that church bell sound from the other sound mod. <laughs> just put it in the game, man. Give me, give me that church bell to KV4. That's my OP shit. All right. Um, was there any other news we can talk about, guys? Who's trying to rape his mic? What? Uh, no, oh. Not me for a change. No, 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 no. All right, GG. <laughs> Nice. Has anybody seen Godzilla, by the way? Something totally no. different? I've kind of been put I, I off get a going to, go to see that. Things. I, I don't know. That's between, right, I haven't seen <laughs> Between, what was it, what Jingles was saying about it, between Angry Joe's review, between some other reviews that I've gone read, I don't oh, think fuck. I've been wanting Angry to. Joe reviewed it? I should watch that. Yeah, he did. I'll watch it. It wasn't totally negative, but he did point out that it, it's largely a... The, the, it, it's kind of wasted that it's a Godzilla movie. Uh, that Godzilla's hardly in it kind of thing, which is, I think, what Jingle said as well, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I was thinking of going to see it, but now not so much. I think I'll Sorry, save just, my just money just for in, rice cakes in instead. In the chat there, somebody's uh, wrote the word Star Citizen. Is there any That's true. That, well, yeah, that is apparently launching. 29th. On the 29th. What? Dogfight, the dogfighter dog module. Oh, shit, I thought the entire game. Holy no, shit. No. Uh, like, oh! yeah, they're doing it, they're doing it when? like Elite, they're re going to release it in bits. Yeah, yeah, um, that's what the, I thought. But fighting is slated to come out on the 29th of May, which, so which next is, week. It's no exciting to me, because I actually have now got, uh, I can't even remember the name of the fighter, but somebody, uh, Oddball from Cirque 2 actually gifted me a beta package, so I now have access. Oh, sweet. I'm a pirate. I got I got the pirate the ship. The scythe or whatever? I've got the 300i something, the one that's the dedicated fighter. I don't and know, I'm going to be a pirate. Like the o I have the cargo pirate. ship, which but is basically a par pirate ship. It's got leather it's interiors, and that's the most important oh, thing. Oh, wait, no, it's called a cutlass, I think. With leather interiors, it might be the same as mine, the 300i. It's got, like, crushed yeah, leather on the walls. Yeah, it's got, like, yeah, leather. Yeah, lovely ship. It's the BMW special. of the skies. <laughs> <laughs> what? The which BMW one did you get? I'm going to look it up right now. What's your ship the, called? The 300i. It's beautiful. But yeah, that, that's that's slated to launch on the 29th, and as soon as that launches, I'm going to get in there and shoot some people in the face. There you go, that thing. Yeah, no, I, I, I think mine's called I'm the Cutlass. I'm going to start downloading it immediately, and then like three days later, I'll probably just play it. <laughs> three days later, you can play it. Yeah, that's I got the Cutlass. See if, see if they'll send you a CD in the mail. <laughs> no. God, oh shit, I'm so fucking hype already. But it's, it's, it's a loose, uh, a very loose... It. It's not set in stone. It could slide, but I haven't heard anything about it sliding yet. Don't bring it oh. up then. God damn. <laughs> so, so disappointed in coming. Well, there's actually, um, if we're on other games, if we're on that section, oh, are we having a, a break, by the way? No. So we're going for about an hour. No, we'll just keep no, we playing things, straight on. We need to grind things. Um, Ram JB actually started on his channel. Hey, remember that guy? Uh, Who? Covering Ram. a game called Star Sector, which actually looks right up my alley. Uh, it's right. a little top-down starship game that that's uh, an indie one, obviously, and it's only like t ten dollars at the moment. So I thought I'd, uh, FDL, yeah, no, I did try, and then ten dollar <laughs> browser kind of crapped out. But it, no, it looks a lot like um, a game that came out over ten years ago. Uh, ten years ago called uh, Escape Velocity Nova, which was <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to my accent there. Uh, <laughs> So uh, Scottish. It was like so isometric, Scottish. top down. You had little starships. It was quite sandbox, but there was a couple of different storylines. I don't think there's storylines in Star Sector yet, but it looks very similar in terms of flying around and trading and shooting and 
Yeah, I might have to give it a look. I'll watch and one around it. Have you ever played the uh, yeah. FTL? Did I? Yes, FTL. That's an amazing game. I've been doing FTL me, videos. But... Yeah. Damn. I love FTL. It's. it's yeah. It. I, I've actually... It's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit rage-inducing, though. Are there it, things? It, it's, it's doubly good for me <laughs> because no? not only do I really enjoy playing it and doing the videos, but I can do like a half-hour video and it's like a third of the size of one of my World of Tanks. <laughs> yes, how it encodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's fantastic. But yeah. but yeah, FTL's a lot of fun. And they just had the advanced thing that came out like earlier this month, the, the advanced, advanced pack, edition. Yeah, which, if you already had FTL, you got it completely free, which was it's always a really nice yeah, move when, cool. when a developer does that. So yeah, that's a lot of fun. That's pretty cool. All right, let, let's talk about something else now. World of <laughs> Subways 3, London, Underground Circle Line. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Wow. I, I've been waiting subways. so eagerly. World of Subways? World of Subways 3. Um, <laughs> Why did they, why, I, why are there one? three of them? Number two. And why are there three? Did they make a third? Why is there three? It has been released on 12 of May 2014, so we have missed already the, the oh, launch. Oh, we've missed the rush. You can buy the yeah. DLC Berlin Subway. <laughs> can you? Oh shit! You have a map <laughs> as well. Holy crap! Wow! Wow! Expansion pack. Going uh, for just very quickly going back to Star Citizen, I'm fairly certain that they said uh, at the end of the um, near the end of the dogfighting module, you're going to be able to earn in-game um, cash that carries over to the main game. So that's going to be fun. So you can grind okay. already. So you can grind right at the start <laughs> before the game's even out. You can start the grind. <laughs> yes, the grind begins. I gotta say, having looked at, I mean, someone actually asked why why don't I look at Elite as well? And if I had the spare money, I probably would. But I, I just just the, the ship design, just on a purely like shallow, entirely how it looks basis, I definitely prefer the Star Citizen ships to what we've seen so far from Elite. Yeah, Star Citizen would be ridiculous. I, I don't think I don't think Elite are taking on Alpha anymore. I think you can only buy in to the beta now, which isn't. Yeah. Okay. They, they, is it is, the beta access is coming very very soon though? It's like a I couple still think of days it's a, after. It's a hundred pound. Yeah, it's not <laughs> which is a lot of money. That's a lot of rice cakes. I can buy cutlass for that, man. No, and no, I can buy I can buy rice cakes at seventy nine p a packet. So that, I just say that's a lot of rice cakes, man. It's a lot, it's a lot of, of rice cakes. Have any of you space nerds play the space engineers? Because that seems like the only no, 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 space no, no. game I could get into. No, but I want to. It looks it fairly. Look like it it looks yeah. really fun. Does it's it? interesting, yeah. Oh, you could build a giant ship and crash it into someone's God. face. The only thing that, that, that was really <laughs> that, cool that I've seen from that is that somebody made a, a shark, basically, that actually mm. moved like a shark, but oh. it was in a spaceship. Nice. It looks oh, yeah. like a Minecraft, only with the without the bullshit. It's kind of it's voxel things. based. It's, yeah, it's, it's similar. It's yeah. Minecraft, but in space, and then you can yeah. make a giant spaceship and crash it into your friend's giant spaceship that he spent fifteen hours building, and then just laugh at him. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that 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 seems like the game. I, I mean, it's got buy. multiplayer in now. Maybe. Yeah. Is there multiple? Cool. Can you play for versus or something? You can play survival. Uh, I think together. it's like a like a basically like DayZ. You do whatever the fuck you want. Okay. If you want so to kill can, people, so you, you can. Kill so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can we fuck up other people? I don't know if there's guns in that game though. Who needs guns when you've starships? We should just build one Rapships. giant. I think starships get guns. We should, a starship. space U-boat. Space Romania. Space <laughs> Romania. Just like the cut from a country, like you see, like Italy, and you see there's a ship from the side that just goes. Like, <laughs> that'd be fucking sweet. Yeah, but been, or just spell um, it out in letters and make a ship out of the letters or something. Oh, ideas. Just make it. Just make a giant fist shaped ship. There's <laughs> a middle middle finger with just the, flying with by, middle, like with the middle finger, just one giant cannon. <laughs> Yeah. I, I like the awards in Steam for that game. Fourth best indie Check game it. of 2013. <laughs> what the fuck? Who gives? <laughs> we were fourth. That's the yeah. uh, what's it called? Medal. It's the most uh, unusual online game. Uh, how do you call those medals? Like the participation medals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> participation. participation. Not ribbons. bad for the first time. <laughs> Good you, try. You <laughs> oh shit. And it's also kind of funny, somebody in the chat you make a fortress, make like a castle, then put KB, it in, slip on an like engine. Make a KV-4 in space. <laughs> oh, yeah, KV-2s. Yeah, it, like, it depends. Like, I've seen, like, some early footage, but I don't know where the game went from that. 
I, I, I looked. I thought it was yeah, kind it of cool really when it boring was just in the beginning. It, 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 yeah, it looked good, but I, I always said I'm not going to buy it unless it gets multiplayer, and then yeah. it got multiplayer, and yeah. then I never bought it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, maybe I'll just check it out. But in the beginning, it really lacked a lot of things. People in the forums were complaining a lot on Steam. Yeah. But I guess they changed some stuff. Where the fuck did Jedi go? This planet needed him. Want we'll to make a giant space penis? <laughs> he, he bought the game already. He's building, <laughs> he's he's space building space it right penis. Now. Space penis. Alright then. That's going to be the name of this podcast though. Space penis. <laughs> Sounds good to me. OP. Alright. Do we have any other topics, uh, ladies and gentlemen? We've been at it for a little over an hour, I think. I'm, uh, I'm out of topics. Foxerino, Cappuccino? Oh my god, new voice packs for Call of Duty Ghosts. Snoop? Snoop Dogg? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Snoop? Snoop a loop? That's been out for a while now, I think. Oh, wait, that uh, should be something new then. It's a new Let one? Me... Uh, it should be. Well, it's oh. on Steam as a new one, it shouldn't oh. be the old one. What do we have now? 50 Cent? <laughs> <laughs> Metallica? Oh, what the fuck? I don't even want to guess what that is. D do it, what? I'm gonna check it out now. What kind of. Snoop Lion something? I know Snoop Dogg has a. No. Holy crap, there's expansions what? for fucking Call of Duty for 87, 89 euros. There's like 20 of them. Fuck, you know. Call of Duty Ghost, Ducky Pack. Okay then. A, a donkey pack. Do, a do, a ducky, ducky, like duck, ducky pack. But um, right. what's the new? Uh, I don't even play this stupid game. But uh, what's the new voice pack? Well, I see Snoop. Oh wait, Dog, that's, that, that's the drill instructor. Yeah, drill instructor. Wow. That's the guy from uh, what's his face? Gunny. It's the same. It's like everybody knows this. Wait, I'll show you guys something. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's this guy. This guy's voice back. Are you for real? It's it's really smart though. Like how funny would it be to get a Snoop Dogg voice back of little things? <laughs> we set him ablaze. <laughs> Something like that. I, I I'd buy a Snoop Dogg voice back for little things. <laughs> Snoop Dogg voice back. Yeah, we set him on fire or something. Brilliant. Blaze. Okay, that was deliberate that time. There was somebody at the door. Wasn't my OP internet for a change. When you kill RT, smoke weird. My Skype's gone a bit weird anyway. I can't see anybody else's video anymore. Yeah, you, you, your camera was down for a second there as so. well. Yeah, Gunny, back now. Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. It's the other voice back apparently. Yeah, you're Sounds fine, good. We need, we need our Snoop Dogg voice backs and all things. So. <laughs> yeah. I have a dream. Well, someone in chat mentioned Kerbal Space Program, which is, uh, again, something I've done. I've done a video on. I don't think I'm planning on doing a series or anything, but that's a lot of fun as well. That's actually... That, that's also kind of Minecraft in space, a bit. Um, you, know, you know what space game I want to play? It's pretty indie. <laughs> Fucking Star Citizen, dude! <laughs> <laughs> that's not indie anymore. <laughs> this is, this is going to be Hearthstone again, isn't it? Or Hearth, Hearthstone, whatever it's called. Yeah, uh, if it's raised forty-four million dollars or whatever ridiculous amount it is, it's not indie anymore. No, it's not. forty-four million. Yeah, I was it's totally something ridiculous. Like pancakes, that. holy shit! But bullshit. Just... You meant it. You meant every word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to fly around in my cutlass, man. Yeah, the amount of call, artwork people have made already for for ships that haven't even flown yet is just ridiculous. Like people are making so much artwork for it already. So All right, people. So many fucking pre-orders and early access and Kickstarter these thing days. Games these days, and it's kind of like I pay you money and this... hope that you don't yeah. run away with it. I, yeah. I don't. I don't think it's especially a good development. I it's not I'll... for everybody. It works for some games and some developers, but not everybody should offer you know what early the access. Pay me now before the game's released. Yeah, it's just it's, a crutch. It's, it's, it's getting out of hand a little bit. Like an indie it's developer it, uh, who hasn't got any money and really wants to make an awesome game, then yes, fine, do it. But somebody who's like a massive development house, like like I'm quite excited for this new H1Z1 game, the new zombie MMO, but it's by SOE and they're charging for early access and I don't think they should uh, because they're a massive development house. Yeah, Sony are so poor. They don't have any. Exactly. <laughs> they any don't. Money. 
They don't, they're indie, I mean, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're not indie. indie. They, don't, indie. they don't need the money. So indie. I mean, the like, same goes with like the that. pre-orders. Like, if you look at yeah. Steam now, what's the most buyable games? Probably half of them aren't finished and half of them haven't even come out yet. Top exactly. sellers, well, Wolfish 10 is... Tropical, did it came out already? Yeah, yeah, I think so. People are playing uh, it. Watch Dogs was the top yeah. seller for and ages. So. W- Watch Dogs is third. It came out. Yeah, it's not even out. Daisy is fifth. That game has not been finished yet. Rust is out of here, so I guess people actually picked up that it's full of hackers and doesn't work at the moment. <laughs> so it's probably that smart to buy it. Wait, Watch Dogs is not even available for Europe yet? It's 27th. It is. What the fuck? No, 27. Available 27th of May. Oh, yeah. That's fucked Yeah, up. yeah, that, that's that's because Europe gets fucked in yeah. the ass. Great. Like, Great like success. The, the only, like, uh, a Kickstarter thing I would actually consider to support is that Kingdom Come Deliver- Deliverance that game. That looks awesome. Yeah. What the, oh, yeah, wait, the Kingdom medieval Kingdom one? Without yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, looks that, that is something I could support because I really like the idea and they have, like, a good story behind it as well and yeah. they, they do a lot of videos on it and how they're making it. Well, I, you know what I actually really want? It's a new Mountain Blade. Yeah, yeah, that's that's coming out pretty soon as well, I think. Nah, well, not pretty soon, worry. but they're making some art already. There's some shit yeah, they're releasing. Should, because they making some last... art coming out soon? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I made this drawing. Please pre-order. Yeah. Please, please <laughs> pre-order. pre-order. Available. Look at this picture of a man on a horse. I colored, I colored in this fucking black and white photo. God damn, you should pre-order the shit right well, now. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. Great success. Yeah. Good job, Jim. What is the no- wow. Banner Lord will be the name of it. Banner Lord, yeah. Yes. But there's like nothing out of it yet. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you guys can hear me, but suddenly I can't hear you, and I don't know why. <laughs> Robot voice extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. I can hear you, Jedi. We can hear you saying. Oh my god. <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> if he doesn't realize we can hear him, that's a bit close. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay. Can you hear us or not? What? Uh-oh. How is you starting Skype, really? Yes, really strong. Great today. success. I think we should just cancel the podcast now. Yeah. yeah. So when he comes back on Skype, we're like, haha, we're playing tanks. Bye. Bye. But do we have any other topics? Or are we gonna go back to the grind that is real things? I'm out. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright. Well, um, yeah. All right, cool. We should do uh, some shoutouts then. If you want to find all the new maps, you should check out Maxwell's YouTube, by the way. I'm just saying. Which is ma- youtube.com slash SRG games. Max James. 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 Just www.james.com. No, it's uh, Max SR Games. I'll Max put it in there. SR I'll put games. it in the chat. Yeah, I'll put a link in the YouTube description as well. Oh, there we go. I can actually hear you now. Hey, Jedi. Hey, we you can wanna... hear you. Fine. You want to do shout? Manically it laughing. Just... It bugged the hell out. And then there was a kind of a... <laughs> and then it, it dropped again. And then it came back in and I couldn't hear anything at all. So, so... yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, Jedi, you want to do some shout-outs from uh, your links for YouTube and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, I've been... I've, I've kind of... I'm settled into a, a pattern i'm trying a new kind of uh like uh, mostly tanks but kind of every third after every third tanks video putting up a video for a different game and i'm trying not to take on too many games at once because the temptation is to put out a lot of like videos just on one thing but i've got a couple of series going at the moment uh ftl seems to be the most watched but i'm trying to get crusader kings 2 videos out as well and minecraft and it was youtube.com slash pointy head jedi that's the one Sweet. Did, did you say did you YouTube.com sounds like Unicum? Because I am. <laughs> Unicum.com. <laughs> Deal with it. Alright, Flash. Hello! 
<laughs> I make YouTubes. Yes, YouTubes uh, make a lot of videos. Yes. He has Guys. Instru he, his instruction videos on 101 uses for a potato. I think there's nothing finer on YouTube. Oh, you should do that. <laughs> yes, more oh. potato videos. Yeah, I have a YouTube account. It's called uh, the Fosh You, I guess. Uh, it, it's, it's on YouTube. Yes, <laughs> on the YouTube. Yes. <laughs> It's like the most professional shout outs ever. So it's youtube.com slash you. Yes. Great success. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, I'll, I'll put some more World of Tanks videos and maybe some more Thunder this week. Uh, we'll, we'll see about that. And we'll see. Yeah, I have a Facebook that I never update, so don't bother to follow that. <laughs> do you guys have. Do you guys have very marketing for. Do you guys have Twitter actually now? You no, guys should get Twitter. Backslash Twitter. Just get Twitter. Uh, get Twitter? Facebook. Yeah. I might, I might. Keep your, keep your watch for the, for the Twitter. <laughs> I might the make. Twitters. All right, yeah, next week. <laughs> keep yes. your watch for the Twitters. Yep. Watch all of the Twitter. Keep, keep your watch. Wa watch the Twitter. Until next time. Keep your watch on the YouTube for more, for more podcasts. <laughs> 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 all right, we're out. Peace. Bye. 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 -bye. Wow, what a success story. Yes. <laughs> Great. Great. Great success. Oh, professionalism. So good. <sighs>